when anxiety has other plans. So today I was meant to be filming a vlog style video where I take you along with me to go book shopping in Greenwich, but I woke up with such intense anxiety and anyone that suffers from anxiety knows the feeling of not wanting to go out and overthinking everything. So this is a messy vlog style of my day and I'm just gonna explain how I was feeling. So I started off arriving at Cutty Sark and I was just feeling quite anxious because I messed up my journey to Greenwich. But once I was feeling okay, I managed to venture into Waterstones, my little haven. And I straight away found Paola's book two, Reckless. But don't buy it from here, guys. Get it from the works, it's five pounds. And next to it, I had these cute little postcards of Pei and Kai. I didn't feel like I could take one though because I didn't buy anything. But then I looked at the manga section. I was able to find some really good mangas that I want to try. I always get so relaxed looking at manga. And then while I was looking around traditional books, I found Two Twisted Crowns, which I cannot wait to read. And I started to look at some book dedications. And this one just really hit me today. This dedication was also quite sweet. So once Waterstone started to get quite busy, I decided it was time to get an ice latte and a cinnamon danish and head to Greenwich Park because Greenwich was insanely busy. So I climbed up that massive hill on the left there and I nearly passed out, but because it was such a lovely day, like my mood was elevated just being outside. I was on the hunt to find somewhere quiet to sit and just seeing this man skating, I don't know why, it just cheered me up. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go and sit over there because I can people watch. It's nicely tucked out the way, but still in the sun and I can still see people. So this is my setup. <laughs> Oh, I just have to laugh because this is just so not the day I thought it was going to be. As soon as I sat down, I had to try this cinnamon danish. Guys, look at the layers. It was phenomenal. 10 out of 10 and my mood was elevated. So it was worth the £4 or something I paid for it. <laughs> there will be more book content in this video. I go to this lovely bookshop in Blackheath and when I get home I show you my new books but before we get there I just wanted to explain why I made this video it's not for pity or attention but to be real with you guys I had a whole day planned to film for you but it didn't go to plan and that's just life and anyone dealing with anxiety understands this because you can never predict how severe anx anxiety is going to be that day so if you're someone that's woken up anxious and you've left the house, you are a freaking superstar. One thing that really helps me is reading. When I'm anxious, my mind is loud. But as soon as I open that book and read those first words, my brain goes quiet and I can somewhat relax. I'm sure many people that read also feel the same. So for all my anxious book girlies out there, it's one of those days <laughs> where you just have to read all day. And I want to thank everyone that engages and watches my videos because talking about books and manga and sharing that reading experience with you has really helped me. Anyway, back to the vlog. I actually just got scared by people walking by. I was so immersed in the book that I didn't hear them coming. It really freaked me out. Like I finally started to relax and I think this just tipped me over the edge and I read for about another five minutes and then I was thinking, you know what, I need to get on the move now because I'm not actually relaxing, I'm just thinking about that jump scare. <laughs> so I end up walking to Blackheath, which was a nice walk, and I stumble across this bookshop. I was just planning to go to the station, so I was really glad I found this Blackheath bookshop. It was really cute inside. I found some good reads in there. And my best friend is getting married on Monday and I found this amazing card. This is the perfect card because we read books together. We're in our own little book club. So that was quite good. And then I just journeyed home. <laughs> so some down moments of the day, but some highs. That pastry and that card I got really did cheer me up. And I just wanted to show you my two new books. I finally got Light Lark and I got the second book in the Love Redesign series, Love Unwritten. 
But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Come with me to Greenwich and chat about anxiety video. Normal videos will be back next week, I promise you. I'm trying to read Once Upon a Time in 24 hours this weekend, so look out for that one. And I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.